we are Team Blackberry, and we present to you, thank you, thank you, our app called Flashcard Kid. It's a fun educational game for kids and teachers. Here's how it works. Here we have our kid named Rex. Rex opens the app Flashcard Kid. Numbers are presented on the screen, and Rex is instructed by a voice, which just asks, what is this, to say a number. Five. Now it's done recording, it records it, success, and he could hear it back. Five. <laughs> you can also upload with this option. Upload success. And you can move to the next picture and continue the game. Once you're finished with the game, finishing identifying all the pictures, um, we have it all manually input, uh, but we're you know we could we can automate it. But for now, because of time, everything's manual. Um, we also created a teacher's version of Flashcard Kit, uh, which acts as a gradebook, which displays the results of our child's answers. And with the help of at and speech-to-text API, <laughs> Rax's recorded voice of answers is converted to text and shown on screen. And he passed. Yes, he did. Our child passed. Great. As you can see, the voice's text is displayed, and the teacher can see which answer answers also match and did not match. Now, here's the cool thing. For those answers that did not match, the recorded voice is provided. So the teacher can analyze the child's response. We could play it back. Five. <laughs> so there, we can either you know identify and match it. Thank you. Five, five, five. But you know, um, if they answer with a different answer, maybe they say like. Five horses, you know, it's, it's for psychologists to analyze their voice. So it's beyond just a simple match answer. But thanks to AT&T's uh, API, we can do all this. So this game is for four and above and teachers, of course. Uh, we plan a flashcard kit will be a free download in the BlackBerry app world and more markets to come. Additional in-app purchases for 99 cents, which include more numbers, more letters, more pictures, more fun. So have fun learning and educating, easy and remotely with Flashcard Kid. Right, thank you guys. Any judges, any questions? Tell us about your technical. <laughs> wow. uh, okay. uh, it was, it was um, a little tricky when we got it. You were using uh, Blackberry's uh, uh, JavaScript framework called WebWorks. Uh, actually, we got it, I mean, if our second try, we got it going pretty well. It was, it was kind of, uh, the learning curve is kind of easy for us, so that's good. That, that's great. Now tell us about your back end. All right, on the back end, there's a uh, MySQL database okay. with the uh, REST API, um, shooting some JSON over the wire, and then uh, PHP is the uh, access. So what you're seeing here is a fully responsive design. It'll, it's the same HTML that's working on the tablet. You all can visit it on your phone if you want, or your laptop, att.jadware.com. You can try it on your iPad there. It should work fine. Um, and so a PHP behind it, and uh, all of that, uh, all of those statistics, all of those charts, all of those tables are, are fully functional. Some of the uh, elements around the edge, you know, like the messages, stuff like that, is more placeholder, but the, all the meat of it is there and fully functional. Okay, and then the web server? Uh, web server is just, I don't know, Apache, just hosted somewhere on some cheap hosting. Okay. We didn't need like a custom web server or anything like that, straightforward. Who handled that side? Sorry? Who handled the web server side? Uh, I did the back end on the dashboard. Where'd you post it at? I, it's just on some cheap hosting somewhere, downtownhost.com specifically. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, I just like to make sure that everybody knows about the numbers. Like, where? Downtownhost.com? <laughs> okay. No, I just... uh, so it's on one of my like development domains that I use occasionally. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? Questions? Any questions from the audience? No? No? All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much.